Hey, what's up guys? You're watching DIY Dozer. On today's episode, I'm going to show you how to build shelves inside of your V-Nose trailer. Stick around, I'll show you the tools that are required and how to get the job done. So I bought a new trailer for a business that I'm currently opening and the trailer is nice, but it's not super accommodating on the front. It's gonna need some shelves. Inside the doorway here, you can see we have this, uh, this Vino's area here and there is a good amount of space to build some shelves. So we're gonna do that today. I have gone ahead and taken down some measurements and decided where I was going to put my shelves at. I need two shelves. I want one shelf that's kind of up high, and I want one shelf that's about, you know, knee high. And then I, I can still put stuff under, put stuff on the, the, the bottom shelf, and put stuff on the top shelf. Top shelf won't be too high. You're going to have to figure out what shelf you want, or the height of the shelf that you want by walking in your trailer and just physically put your hand somewhere, you know. Act like you're going to bend over, you know, pick something up. If you're going to come over here, or if you want to go under here, how far you want to go. So... With that said, I came to the conclusion I wanted my top shelf uh, about 22 inches from the ceiling. So from up here down, I'm at 22 inches. I've marked it on the wall. I went ahead and put my, uh, I measured out from, from this, this corner. It's 10 and a half inches out to where I wanted the, the leading edge of my shelf to be. And I came to that conclusion of, of 10 and a half out here by looking over here. What I did was I started over here and I said, okay, this is our door frame. I don't want to mess with that. Um, I want to go inside the door frame, so I took the a scrap piece of I took a scrap piece of two by four that I've got, and I put it where I wanted it at. You know, I said okay, this this fits in right here. I slid it over here. First, you can see there's a mark there. When I moved the two by four, there's a mark there where it was. First, I stuck it right here and I measured, and then I took that same measurement from the top of the two by four up to the ceiling and to the corner. And I came over here and I matched it to this side. Uh, and what I came up, up with was uh, the top of the two by four was actually hitting right there. So I was a little bit short because this piece here was in the way. You, know, you see, I put the two by four on there. It's yeah. So you can't you can't attach it like that. That's you can't do that. So because this is my my hindrance over here, then I came back over to this side and I said, okay, let's let's go ahead and see how high I can do this. So I put it right here on this little ledge, traced it out, got my measurement from there to the corner and up to the ceiling. And then I came back over here and I copied it over here. And what that ended up doing was raising our mark. That's the bottom of the two by four ledge. So instead of being right there, it brought us up to right there. So, so that's, that's where we're at now. I've got that measurement. And then I took that measurement from uh, from the, the frame here, um, the ceiling flexes. So you can't use the ceiling as a reference point for your measurements. Uh, I'm using the tubing. Um, and what I did was I measured up to that piece of tubing there. I measured to this piece of tubing here. You know, measured to the, uh, after this, I did actually use the, the, the back piece of metal there. You need to find a hard surface to, to measure with. You know, come over here and use this. You know, because these walls are not level. I don't know if you noticed or not, but you know, here's the pointing case. Look right here. This is a quarter inch higher than this. They are not level. You know, they just kind of slap these things together in the interior. You know, here's another point right here in the corner. This is a quarter inch higher than this. You see it kind of steps down to this, then it kind of steps down again to this. And you see, they're not level. So you have to use hard parts uh, square tubing in the ceiling, you know, up here to measure down from to make sure that it's going to be level. Otherwise, your your shelves are going to be all jacked up. So I end up right here, 22 inches down from the ceiling. This is where we're at, 22 inches. I measured all the way across up to here, 22 inches down, right here. I'm going to have a two by four brace right there in the middle, and then uh, you know, across the middle here, you know, from the right to left. There needs to be a two by four there, and there needs to be a two by four, a, a two by four there also, a brace coming out off the wall. 
at an angle to support all this empty space here. So uh, I measured the distance across from left to right. Um, the entire wall here is, is 42 inches, 42 inches across. Uh, I put 21 inch right here is my center. I, I put a mark there, took two by four, stuck it right there and I traced it out. So now I know where my two by four has got to go. Same thing over here on this side. And then I took the exact same thing I did and I went down to the second shelf and I did the same thing except my reference instead of being the ceiling because now I'm so far from the ceiling, I have now used my reference mark as the floor. So the floor is actually uh, pretty consistent. Uh, there's no major issues with, with this floor in here. Um, it's pretty consistent, pretty level. And that puts my, my shelves 22 inches apart from each other. I'm pretty happy with that spacing. It looks good for me. Uh, hopefully you guys can see the, uh, the pencil marks on the wall. Again, I'm going you know, show you kind of how I've... Here's our marking. Got a 2x4 there. Got my line. It's level straight across. 2x4 mark there. Got another one on the center there. And over here, got another one there. And then over here in the corner, we got another one there. And if you go down, boom, there's our next one. And if you slide over, again, I got my level line marked out there. There's another two by four in the middle. Another two by four marked there. Another one there. And another one there. So the goal here is I'm gonna take two by fours. I'm gonna measure the distance. Uh, the first piece I'm going to do is I'm going to take two by four, put it from here, left side to right side, all the way across. All right. After I do that, um, I'm going to come back and I'm going to do the, the back middle and attach that straight forward to the two by four. I get my measurement and do that. And then after that, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to get these angled pieces here. Um, this build out is going to be pretty cool. I'm going to have a little ledge. I've got some one by, I'm going to get a, I'm going to lay the sheet of, of plywood across here. Um, I believe I got birch or pine. I got a sheet of pine. Okay, so then I'm going to get a piece of one by uh, uh, board here, and I'm going to run it from here across the front to have a lip so nothing can slide forward off of the shelf. I'm going to have containers. I'm going to screw the containers down into the shelving. Uh, we'll, we'll get to that in a minute. All right, so as per the plan here, first step up, we're going to get a two by four, cut it. Uh, the width of, of the trailer, essentially, it's going to go from this wall here all the way over to that wall there. I'm gonna do that for the top shelf and the bottom shelf. All right, so I've got some brackets here. I'm gonna put these on the two by fours to the wall. Uh, I've got some, uh, some inch and a half wood screws. I'm gonna use the inch and a half wood screws on, on the bracket to the two by four. And then I've got some smaller uh, wood screws that I'm gonna use, uh, they're one inch. I'm gonna use those for the bracket going through the, the siding and the wall. Okay, so inside the trailer, I'm gonna have this bracket here. Uh, I'm gonna actually run the bracket on the, on the back side. That way it's not visible. Um, so it's just gonna go like that. And like I said, I'm gonna run the one inch screws through this part into the wall. And right here, I'm gonna run the inch and a half screws, but I'm not gonna go all the way through and countersink this thing. I don't want it to, you know, two by four is only an inch and a half. So I don't have a whole lot of play once it goes in there. So be very cautious about not over tightening. Okay, I got my first boards in here, going straight across. Got a tight, snug fit, it's good. Got my screws in, brackets are in the back there. All right, now next up, I'm going to uh, go ahead and knock out this center section. I'm gonna get a board cut that's gonna fit between that wall and the back of this, both top and bottom. All right. So it looks like I'm at about 31 inches from the wall to this right here. So I'm going to go ahead and cut out a board 31 inches for that. And let's double check this other one down low here. Make sure that it is the same. The one down below is actually showing uh, 31 and a half. So 31 and a half down there. But I think that might be because there's some tension on this board and it's causing it to bow outward. If you push on it, you can bow it in that half inch. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut it to 31 and a half though. 
I don't want to I don't want to put any unnecessary pressure on on the walls. I don't want them to break free from uh, from the seams here in the corner. So cut one to thirty one, one to thirty one and a half. Okay, I got my two boards cut. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put them up in here. I'm gonna do the you know put it right there on that that mark that I've got for the two by four on the wall and run it straight out here to this board and shoot two screws in this board here and I'm gonna put a bracket on that wall. All right, so I got that bracket in back there on that brace, but up here on the front, I have to step up to a different size screw again. This time we're gonna go to a three inch screw to go into the front of this, uh, front of this board right here and go into the back of that one. Okay, we're looking pretty good. We got our braces in the middle put in here. Okay, so I don't recommend doing this if you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> but I'm going to get a two inch screw here and I'm going to run it through uh, right here at an angle to the, to the bottom. Um, the reason why I say if you don't know what you're doing is because this is long enough to penetrate through this wood and get through the exterior of the trailer. You don't want to do that. So I'm going to probably run it at an angle about like that and uh, just shoot it up into here and get a little bit of added strength from the bottom of each of these brackets here. Just to make sure, I'm gonna do it on all the ends of the two by fours real quick from the bottom. Okay, and up next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get the, uh, the two by fours cut out for the wall here that's gonna come over here to brace. Uh, same thing for that side over there to here and the bottom two as well. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a two by four and I'm essentially gonna put it on that wall and I'm gonna lay it on top of this two by four right here. I'm gonna take a pencil from the bottom edge and I'm gonna trace the outline of this two by four on the bottom of the other one that I have to give me the, the shape or the angle that I need to have for the wall. This is what you do when you don't have something like a speed square readily available. Uh, so yeah, just uh, check this out. All right, so I got all my two by fours marked. See our mark there, another one there. There's another one there. And last but not least, there's our last one there. I have them all labeled. Uh, as you can see right here, it says, uh, you know, left top on that one, bottom right. Uh, this one here is gonna be top right. And this one here, bottom left yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and cut these out the skill saw real quick and we're gonna get back in the trailer all right i've got all four of my boards cut here i'm gonna go ahead and uh place them up against the wall shoot one bracket in there uh on on each board i'm gonna put one bracket against the wall and i'm gonna shoot screws through the two by four into the the new two by four that's going in the wall here so All right, so I ended up having to make a trip down to the hardware store. Uh, I ran out of these brackets right here. Uh, I didn't get enough, so I had to go down there and buy some more. So I bought that bracket, and I brought that bracket down there. Um, also, while I was there, I went ahead and got some new screws. The screws that were holding the brackets in place, um, you'll, you'll see here. Here's what we got. The screw on the right is what we had initially, and this little smooth part here, uh, this... You know, this board right here is only about a, uh, I think it's a half inch thick. And then you got a space between that, about a one inch to the exterior wall. Um, so when I ran this screw in, I noticed that it would stop grabbing. It was just free spinning. It would go in there. The smooth part on the screw here was what was actually holding the bracket in. It wasn't completely secure, okay? So I switched that screw out there for this pan head. And this pan head has threads going all the way to the head, so it completely grips the sheet of wood on the wall there to to attach the two by four to. So, not to mention uh, this screw here, uh, the the sh the head there is at an angle, so 
you see if I set it flat, it would stop, or it would stop short of going all the way in. Uh, and this other one here, it's flat. So being that it's flat, it goes all the way down until it's flush. So the end result is having something that looks like that, nice, flush, and pretty, versus having something like this, which didn't go all the way in. So yeah, there's a little, sh little space right back underneath there behind that. So we don't, so I switched out all the screws. So anyway, um, much better now. I feel like it's, it's solid attached properly now, not having that issue that we just had before. So yeah, moving on. Okay, so I don't have a big enough piece of cardboard currently here at the house. So we're going old school, the original way. Uh, we're gonna measure it out and do it right. So um, I've got 81 and a half inches from this wall to this wall. Okay, 81 and a half. And I got 33 inches from the face of this board to the back of that nose right there. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and cut out or trace out that and cut that piece down to that size first. Okay, so next up we're gonna measure from this, from this curvature here in the corner of the wall to the face of our board. So it looks like we are at nine inches on that side, about nine inches on that side as well, before we start doing our 45 there. So we're gonna trace back nine inches and mark that. And next, we're gonna measure this back piece here. Since I know it's flat and straight, uh, we're gonna pull the tape across that and see how wide that is. We're gonna go with four inches wide right there. Uh, the reason is it's actually three, three and an eighth from edge to edge, but there's a gap from here to the shell, to, to the exterior wall here. Um, so if we continue an imaginary line across to that on both sides, we're gonna end with about four inches. All right, so next I've cut out this piece of cardboard here for the corner, just like that. I've got it pretty much where I want it to be at. I'll take this right here and transfer it on my board. Uh, I'm going to double check the uh, the other side here to make sure it's the same angle. Yeah, it, it looks pretty good. And we'll check the top. Top looks good. And this top should be the same as well. Yeah, it looks good. Okay, we'll roll with this right here. Transfer this onto our piece of wood at the marked uh, location. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay this down at our marked spot here. Like so, I got it straight. Get that little corner marked out right there. And we'll trace, trace this template to up here so we know our angle and now uh, I got my template traced out onto the board I use a straight edge to mark all the way up to the top center I'm gonna cut this out and test fit it and here's my test fit with the piece put in it looks pretty good I'm happy with it flush on the front edge here looks good I'm gonna take it out and test fit it on the top piece and if it's exactly the same as it is on the top I'll just take this piece and I'll trace it onto another piece of wood and cut it out again. And like I said, uh, this trailer is not perfectly square, so uh, with this piece that I just cut for the bottom, now on the top, my lip here overhangs about a quarter of an inch. And you can see here, it doesn't quite sit down inside that hole there. This, this tab on the corner doesn't quite go into this corner. Uh, I think it's really a matter of that board back there. I could probably cut a quarter inch off the nose piece on the next piece that I do. Yeah, cause see this, this corner here isn't in that corner. Um, I could probably cut a quarter inch off the nose piece for the upper part here and it'll bring this back and make it flush with the two by four. So I'm gonna trace this out on, on the next board and I will, uh, on the next sheet of uh, plywood and I'm gonna take a quarter inch off the nose.
All right, so I got both uh, shelves, both pieces of plywood are in now. Looks pretty good, fits good. This is flush like it should be. All the way to the back back there. I'm a happy guy. So, I'm gonna go ahead and shoot some screws in this and then move forward with adding our little lip on the front so stuff don't slide off of here. All right, so here we are with all the screws screwed in all the way around. Shelves look nice, they're good. Up next, I'm gonna get a piece of one by, put on the edge here to create a lip, raise it up. That way anything on that side over there cannot come out. And boom, just like that, we have shelves. Got my lip here, there it is. Piece of one by laid across there. Nothing's gonna slide out of there. Now all these uh, shelves, I say all these shelves, these two shelves, I'm gonna have uh, totes, storage bins, plastic boxes across here, okay? And around the back edge and across the front here. Miscellaneous uh, tools needed for my particular job. Um, those totes are going to be fastened to the floor also. They're gonna have flip top lids on them. So uh, if I had a speed bump or something like that, or if I had a pothole and the trailer jumps, I don't want it to jump over this lip right here. So I'm gonna have bins on here. When they're empty, I'm gonna shoot screws through the bottom to hold them in place and then put what I'm gonna put inside of them all the way across there. So they're not gonna move. I got the lip here in case I have to set something here temporarily that's not gonna be fastened. But hey, here we go. Look at that. Two beautiful shelves. Awesome uh, usage of the space in the V-nose portion here. You know, you walk in the door. Look at that. I mean, immediately to your right, you got your shelves, boom, all across the front. And I got plenty of space in my trailer for the remaining, you know, items I'm gonna put inside here. So, you're watching DIY Dozier. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you liked it, be sure to hit that thumbs up button and consider subscribing. Also, hit that notification bell so you'll be notified of future content being released. If you have a question or comment, drop it down below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Share the knowledge, share the passion, share the skill, and as always, do it yourself.